Narayana, Narayana. In the last episode, we talked about why Dasharatha wanted to perform Ashwamedha Yaga and what Rishyasringa agreed to. In this episode, we will talk about what is Ashwamedha Yaga and how it was done by Dasharatha. Ashwamedha Yaga is a ritual in which a horse is let loose into other kingdoms. If another king stops the horse, the king who set the horse free wages a war against him. But if the horse passes through a kingdom unharmed, the kingdom becomes a feudatory of the parent kingdom. The Raja who organized this kind of sacrifice was considered very powerful. His relatives, sons and wives performed minor sacrifices during the Yajna and the other Rajas were mere spectators. After the horse returns, the Yaga is typically conducted over three days with several rituals including Chetushtoma for the first day, Ukthyam for the second day and Atiratram for the third day. Any Yajna is generally carried out in a square Yajna Kunda. Seated around it are Hota, a group responsible for chanting the Rig Veda and inviting the gods to the sacrifice. Advaryuvu, who offers the Somarasa, reciting the Yajusas and also the overall coordination of the sacrifice. Udgata, responsible for the Sama singing in a sacrifice. And Brahma, who leads the entire Yajna. Somarasa is prepared from a leafless plant whose stalks are immersed in water and pressed with stone to extract the Soma juice. This juice is poured into various vessels made of wood. Each vessel is intended for one or a group of gods. Back to our Balakanda. After leaving the Yajnashva or the Yajna horse, which marks the beginning of Ashwamedha Yaga, Dasharadha completed the necessary rituals like Sangrahaneshti, Brahmaudana, Medhyashvabandhana, etc. in the following weeks and months. The palace called upon carpenters, builders, engineers, workers to discuss Ashwamedha project. Several thousands of bricks were used to build a huge Yagashala. New buildings were constructed to house all the visitors of Yajna. Hundreds of new wells were dug to make sure water supply is adequate. Singers, dancers and artists flocked to Ayodhya and prepared new shows to celebrate the event. Humongous dining halls were constructed to make sure all the visitors can eat comfortably. Sculptors prepared special statues to entice the visitors and show their craftsmanship. Kings of Mithila, Kashi, Anga, Sindhu, Sauvira, Saurashtra and others arrived at Ayodhya and bought amazing gifts like gems, diamonds, pearls to gift Dasharatha. Vashishtha made sure that everyone from a king to a common citizen was treated with respect and offered all the comforts. A year after leaving, the Yajnashva returned. Dasharadha entered the Yagashala along with his wives and accepted Yajna Diksha with Rishyasringa in Brahmasthana. In addition, Dasharatha also performed other rituals like Jyotish Thoma. The Yajna was performed in accordance to Mimamsa and Kalpa Sutras as described in Vedas. While the Yajna was going on, the dining hall served food to hundreds of thousands of visitors. The guests were taken care of very well. As part of the Yajna, they established 21 Yupasthambhas or pillars which were tied with necessary animals for the sacrifice. Kausalya, Sumitra and Kaikeyi prayed to the Yajnashwa and marked it with golden needles. After completing the ritual, Dasharatha donated lands to all the priests and gifted the visitors as well. This completes Sarga's 13 
and 14 of Balakanda in Ramayana. In the next episode, we will talk about what Dasharatha did after Ashwamedha Yajna and what the gods requested Vishnu. Until then, Narayana, Narayana. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Koo.